Okay, getting into some more progress, and we're going to start off what we're doing here with solving the leak clue scroll. And first of all, I did want to say thank you to everyone who did encourage me to use rune apps instead of the puzzle skipping tickets. Turns out I was just dumb and I was doing it incorrectly, and that's why rune apps wasn't working for me, but now it does. And our clue scroll reward is 193k, but you know what? We're going to re roll that, and we're going to get 370k with an Armadillo Crozier. Is that a great reward? No, but the one nice thing about it is I didn't spend any money on this clue, so that's 300k profit. And that's decent, you know, not for really 20 minutes of work, but it could have been something awesome, and we're not losing anything doing this clue. And I love that. So hopefully we'll get another elite soon. It's really not too bad using rune apps, and I will have a link in the description to that site so you guys can use it too if you like doing clue scrolls, but you really don't enjoy the puzzles. Finished off that Mithril Dragon task that I had, and I got an Elite Clue Scroll, which is awesome. And if you're wondering where this is, it's the Brimhaven Resource Dungeon. You need a Daemonheim Aura to access it. I'm not sure if you need the Daemonheim Aura 4. It might be 4, it might be 3, but either way, you do need that to access it. And the nice thing about it is there's 4 Mithril Dragon Spawns right next to each other. If you kill them in the Ancient Cavern, you only have 3 Mithril Dragon Spawns right next to each other. And then if you Zerk, you kill out all the spawns and have to wait. So that's why I like killing them in the Brimhaven Dungeon more. Okay, and it finally happened. I knew this would happen because Eretz are a pretty common task, but I did get Eretz. Man, I can't skip them. They're just such good combat and Slayer XP and really good GP as well. 150 of them. Unfortunately, it will take a while. It'll take some time away from PVMing, but I gotta do it. Okay, got a clue scroll. Spent zero GP on it and still managed to do it in like 15 minutes. This was a fast one. And it's 200k, and unfortunately, our reward clue scroll reward is the crystal triskelion key which is untradeable but if i get one more of them it's a free elite so there's that to look forward to i guess i do of course have triskelion pieces one and two in the bank all ready to go already okay i just completed my death assignment and i will of course go grab a new one but it was uh i believe four raxi got 20k slayer xp and 20 report points for completing that so definitely a very rewarding task in terms of report points that's a lot and I might be pretty close to my first Hydrix, but um, unfortunately, no amazing loot this task. Pretty much just your standard fare of drops. A lot of the average drops will pay for the supplies and not really a whole lot else. Okay, let's grab a new assignment from death. Hopefully we get another Raxi task or we'll get Bandos instead. You know what? That's awesome. I'll go with that. That's a really easy task to do and it gives me a good excuse to go for a Bandos trip, which I need to do anyway to get that pet. Okay, I just finished doing quite a bit of Bandos today. I think I did... Uh, four or five instances total quite a lot and i also managed to pick up four bandos war shields wow pretty impressive huh well anyway didn't manage to get a pet drop that's the only reason why i'm here to be completely honestly but if we do check my general gragador kc i'm up to 1158 gragador kills up from about 800 is what i was at this morning so i did get a lot done and i am past the threshold so the pet is now twice as common as it used to be which is going to help whenever this pet eventually happens. But I've heard it can take upwards of two, three, four thousand kills sometimes, so I should definitely not expect it to happen right away. Okay, so this is all the Bandos loot that I got today, and yes, I did get quite a few drops. Uh, I probably got incredibly lucky in terms of the amount of drops, even though by far the most common one was a War Shield. I did get four War Shields today, which is ridiculous. And in total, 10 mil made from Bandos drops, then maybe another like 5 mil or so made from all of the runite items and the other miscellaneous drops like limport roots and coal all that stuff i pick it all up and so i made a pretty decent profit at bandos today i mean it still isn't nearly as profitable as if i spent that time at qbd but it does definitely make up for the fact that i'm spending a lot of time trying to get this god wars dungeon pet and i can't unfortunately do it on slayer task or anything like that so i also got an elite so let's go do that i'll be right back with a casket Okay, cool. I got a massive beam doing an Edema task, and it's a blood necklace shard. I've had several elite clues. My last couple Edemus tasks is kind of a, a troll because they both have the same sized beam, but we finally got a shard. It was uh, roughly, I think, 1,200 kills ago where I got my last one, but another shard happened. I think they're still worth a ton. 19 mil. Very, very good money, and Edemus are obviously one of the better money-making methods in the game, which is why I have this task preferred. Okay guys, I'm going to be finishing up a Bandos instance here because I did have a Death Slayer task and believe me, there is a method for the madness while I'm recording this. It's going to be a milestone Death Slayer task as you'll see in just a second. But once again, my PVMing has to be interrupted by real life. 
So I have to leave with 20 minutes left on the instance, which is a little bit unfortunate. But I did get an elite clue scroll, so I'll be showing the loot from that from this instance. And unfortunately, no bandos drops, but every single kill you get is another kill towards that pet, so it's important to do as many as possible. I will grab a death task really quick here, and it's going to be Krill Sutsaroth, which is awesome. I'll do him the next time I have a Sammy task. But the main thing we're here for is I now have 300 death points for the first time ever, and I will be buying an incomplete Hydrix. There is some other cool stuff that you can buy, and I don't think Hydrixes are terribly expensive, but this is my first Hydrix bot. I have been doing a lot of death tasks lately. And I finally got one, and it's worth about 5 mil. Not too bad. I probably should have done more death tasks when these were like 50 mil, but... I don't know, man. Oh, well, I wasn't too into them when the ver death task first came out. So this is a nice bit of profit for just doing this every single day for the last couple weeks or so. And uh, I'll take it. It turns out that the Hydrix was worth a little bit more than 5 mil. I'm not really sure why the GE price is so low if they're selling to for 15 mil, but there we go. So that all of a sudden looks a lot better than I thought it would. 15 mil profit instead of 5 mil. From just doing a death task every day for the past couple weeks and this is definitely worth doing if hydrixes remain at this price oh well i kind of completed my treasure trail without fully realizing it at first but 274k fairly standard elite reward still nothing good i get teleports um pretty much 95 percent of the time i do clues so that is to be expected but that is normally what you get when you do clue scrolls Okay, we got ourselves an elite to open. I got this elite from a slayer task, and I honestly could not tell you what I got it from because, well, that's what happens when you play RS at like 3 or 4 a.m. You can't really remember what you did the next day. But let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. 308k. You know, that's a pretty average elite reward. And I would be happy with that on a normal one, but we're going to reroll that to. 296k so i mean we lost a few k but got another chance for something good didn't pan out this time but purple sweets i have no idea how much these are probably not worth a whole lot well 1.4k a pop well it's not horrible it could definitely be worse it could have been meerkat pouches so that's another elite done and i'm up to well a whole lot of elites now and one of these days one of them is going to be a die and i just see a beautiful golden beam over there i got myself a pair of d limbs man you know, it's been quite a while since I got a pair of limbs while at TDs, but of course I'm here on the Slayer task. I think I got like 65 TDs-ish from my buddy Morvran, and it turned out to work well because we got ourselves some D limbs, which I think are around 12 mil at the moment. Very, 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 very nice Slayer drop. Okay, I just finished off the task, got the one pair of limbs, no claws or anything, but that's completely fine because they're not worth all that much anyway. Anyway, a very, very nice drop to get from a Slayer task, and uh, if we price check everything, Limbs look like they're about 12.2 mil. They've been solid, pretty stable, around 11 to 12 mil lately, so I don't expect for them to go down, especially with all the people making Ascension Crossbows because of all the boss pets. I have a Rune Full Helm because the Spring Cleaner decided not to work for a single range drop. It does that sometimes, but very nice profit from this task. Okay, we're going to grab a new task here, and hopefully we get something cool like DK's... Okay! There we go. We do, in fact, get the DKs. So I'm going to be back after I kill 282 of them and get all three pets in one task. It's going to happen. Here's the loot from that 280 kill Dagonoth task, and really not one of the better Dagonoth tasks I've ever had. I only had one hatchet, one berserker ring. Although those are two of the best drops, I think the two highest value drops, and a whole ton of rare drop table stuff like gold ore, per potions, big bones. About 6 mil in about a little bit over 2 hours, I think. So it's definitely not bad money making, at least for a Slayer task. So I'm definitely happy with that. And got a decent amount of water talismans and all. And I honestly would not mind another one of these, either Dagonoth tasks or Galwar's Dungeon tasks or something like that. So hopefully I get that for tomorrow. Another PVM related task, more chance for a pet. Definitely not what I had in mind when I said PVM related was his special assignment. And Grout Worms is not going to be happening. But I will take Edamu, and I'll be happy with that one. I love Edamu. It's one of my favorite tasks in the game, and there's so good money. Even though Blood Shards are crashing, they're still one of the best money makers in the entire game. Okay, I finally caved in, got bored of scaling, and I'm starting to do Slayer on the bonus XP weekend. So I did another TD's task, and I got another pair of Dragon Limbs. Kind of crazy, and uh, that's back-to-back -back tasks with limbs, so I'm definitely happy with that, and some assorted miscellaneous drops, as you always get, along with all the rune stuff crushed up by the spring cleaner, it probably comes about to one mil, along with the dragon limbs on top of that. Okay, let's grab another task, and hopefully I get a nice long one. DKs would be great, ice strike worms would not be great, and uh, that's definitely one of my least favorite tasks to do. 
and it just it takes too long and there's too much clicking but avian seas is just about perfect including the fact that not only is it a god wars dungeon task but you get to kill Kriara, which is really good range XP, and it's the bonus XP weekend, and I'm going for 120 range. All of these factors are working together to create the perfect Slayer assignment. And hey, we wound up getting a drop on this task. Armadil Boots! Not too bad. What are they, like 2 mil, I'm gonna guess? 2.5 mil. I hope they sell for that, and if they do, that's a pretty nice drop from a Slayer task. Okay, my task is done, so I'm gonna teleport out. I still have... I don't know, maybe 15 minutes left on the instance or something like that, but we're going to get out of here and grab another task and hopefully get DKs. I have this feeling if we get DKs next, I think our first pet is going to happen because DKs are one of the easiest ones to get, and I have done a decent amount of Dagonoth Kings since the pets came out, so we'll hope for that. First of all, though, let's price check everything we got from this task. Okay, this is my loot from the entire task. I think I got everything, including all the coins and stuff crushed by my spring cleaner. All comes to about 3.5 mil. You usually get around a mil in loot per armadil task, not including any drops. So any drops you have, just add on to that. Very nice task in general, though. Really profitable for a slayer task, considering the entire trip took under an hour. And we are going to get DKs for our next task. I'm almost tempted to extend that, but at the same time, my points are still kind of continuing to go on the downward trend, so I want to avoid that as much as possible. So we'll just do 280 DKs, a fairly short Dagonoth task, but hopefully this will result in a pet. Okay, so I just finished up my uh, Dagonoth King's task. Let's go ahead and bank and see how much profit we made during this task. I did get an absurd amount of hatchets. However, unfortunately hatchets aren't too expensive, but I did get fairly lucky this task, at least in terms of the amount of drops I got, so just be aware of that. Okay, here's all the drops I got from my task. This is essentially the rare drop table task, because it got lots of molten glass, several multiple drops of glass, as well as teak planks. I got a couple flax drops as well, I didn't pick them up, and some rune arrowheads, and adamant bars. Just tons of rare drops, and of course the four dragon hatchets and one berserker ring so all told 6.3 mil very good for a slayer task about two hours to do it so roughly three mil profit an hour or so and then an elite clue as well unfortunately these four hatchets all together aren't even worth as much as one hatchet was a year ago but they're still fairly decent for a slayer drop you got to consider this is on slayer task and i'm getting lots of slayer xp so you have to lower your standards a little bit for that but i'm going to go ahead and do this elite and i'll be back as soon as it's finished Okay, and I do have the casket from that Elite Clue Scroll that I got during the Dagonoth King's task a few days ago. And a reward is pretty crappy, but we got a reroll available, so we're going to go for it. And it becomes even more crappy with the uh, Dragonfall Helm Ornament Kit. But we're going to end off the video here, so thank you guys for watching. I will be working a lot more PVM. I have been doing a lot of PVM lately, including starting on some neck solos, doing a lot of Cal Fight King. So hopefully another pet will be coming soon, but... I will see you guys next time, and as well as in the future Condemned to PVM videos. Until then, have fun, and farewell.